Peter, you there? Yeah, yeah, that was, that was pretty funny. Listen, I'm really interested to learn your position. Um, I've never, I just tuned into your show, and I'm interested in the atheist, atheist position. Um, I understand, you know, an atheist is someone who doesn't believe in God, but then, you know, you get into the notion of what is a God, and... Uh, yep. So let's just start with this. How about, you've heard of the unified field in science, correct? Sure. Okay, now do you believe in the unified field? I, I'm not positive. Okay, so basically, I mean, isn't it, can't you really say that when you say you don't believe in God, I mean, isn't it just like a notion of God? And then it if depends. You define it whether or not, whether or not we, we would say that we believe in a God or whether or not we would actively say that a God doesn't exist depends completely on how you define God. Exactly. Um, okay, and so let's, so how do you define God that you I say don't. that you don't believe it, I guess? I right. don't, and basic be position. Atheist, I mean, because I can say I don't believe in this, if, if God is some guy up in the sky who thinks, right. you know, the George Carlin atheist, Right. You is, is is childish to me. I mean, that's just like you're you're in second grade. If you if if you believe that when you're in fifty five, you have a second well, grade notion of God. Pe when you're people have believed that 50s, over the so years. You should so. be an atheist. Uh, people people but, but actually do believe is, that. Really, is if 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 you believe that there's an underlying intelligence, if you have an understanding, a basic understanding, something like that, and then you define that as God, I don't think anyone could could. Well, some people define God as God the same as the universe, okay, in which case, you, why bother? Why bother changing the name? If I define God, you know, the way out that that I'm trying to well, that hit, I, that hit I us with your definition. Is, uh, what is your definition? Hang on, I had to put you on hold because there's a problem with the mics where you can't hear us when we're trying to ask something. Um, what is your definition of God? What God do you believe in? Well, because, I believe that there's, that, that, that there's an underlying intelligence. And that if you look at God that way, you can equate God to like the unified field. Say, if you look at all the all the okay, so you, you have, have more the more of a view that, that you, the unified field. Right, you have God a view that is very deistic. With God. Okay, but but I like to hear your opposition because because all and and particularly one of the things that really generated all this discussion is uh, there was a physics professor at UT. Are you familiar with him? That won the Nobel Prize. Mm hmm. Stephen now, I really want to get his position, but he couldn't talk. But, but <laughs> y'all are atheists. I figured I'd at least talk to y'all and get y'all's position on exactly, you know, where you're coming from. It's so really, it's really believe, pretty I simple. Guess, is my question. It's if really an atheist. Is there? A <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to. I'm not trying to be rude. We just can't talk. There's a problem with the mics. It's really very simple. At least for me, my position. Um, I don't actively define a god. Any definition that I've used when actually investigating somebody's claims of God or my position on it, I tend to use their definition. And by saying that I don't have a belief in a god, I'm basically saying that for every god which is concept which has been presented to me, there's insufficient evidence to support belief. There's no good reason for me to assume any of them exist, including a unified underlying intelligence. Because apart from just looking around and saying, wow, this must have been designed, or wow, this is obviously the result of intelligence. Um, you can look around and say, no, this, this could have happened naturally through natural processes. And you actually, as the person claiming that you, a particular deity exists or a particular concept about God is real, you're required to supply evidence to support that. And I have yet to find anybody or any claim with sufficient evidence to, to demonstrate it. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. I, I agree with you there. But here's here's my question: Is if if you understand what I'm saying, right? I think, I think so. so. Okay. So there's a language there. In order to make that language correct, there has to be some sort of underlying intelligence that makes us be able to, to communicate. That's just that's okay. just inherent within within our discussion. But two plus two equals four. That's true here. It's true on the other side of the planet. It's true. There is an intelligence. There. There. And two plus two doesn't equal four because of an intelligence. Well, then what would you call it? I don't know what it's, you it's call a, it. It's a mathematical it model it that we, we've created. It's it's just mathematic. It's just a mathematical expression of reality. Are right, you, but are you there's saying an that intelligence two plus, to it. Sorry? Because it's true. It's true. It's true here. It's true on the other side of the planet. It's true yesterday. It's going to be true tomorrow as far sure. as we know. Sure. And the sun... Okay, well, we're we're okay, 93 well, million miles from the, the two sun. Plus two, just go back to the communications. We're talking. We're understanding each other. Yes. In order to make that true, there has to be an underlying intelligence that makes that that makes that be. Yes, that's my brain and your brain. Right, but that, but what I'm saying is, there, that between the two of that, underneath that, there's an underlying intelligence. Underneath both of our brains, there's some other intelligence? Underlying all of creation, I would Prove say. Prove it, an intelligence. because I can find no, no, no reason to believe that that is true. 
Well, that's an interesting position that you can't. Uh, basically, what you're saying is that there is no prediction. Then everything there is no prediction. The sun does not rise in the morning, or, or the, or the, the no, you know, we have, we have matter and energy and, and all that, no and, and it's all inanimate. <laughs> I mean, I don't understand your position. If you can't see that the, the two plus two doesn't equals four, two I mean, plus two that's going to be true tomorrow. Four. Would you would you yes. say that? Two plus two under, is under going to equal. Can it's, it's, I answer? I hate to keep no, putting ahead, you on hold. Ahead. I hate to keep putting you on hold, but I'm going to. Okay, go ahead. Go if ahead. you ask me a question, let me answer. Well, my, 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 I keep going back to the same thing. It You're no saying shit. that there's no underlying intelligence, but clearly there's underlying intelligence. Well, you see an underlying intelligence. I don't see an underlying intelligence that goes beyond our two brains. Two plus two. Two. Let me answer. You see an underlying intelligence. I don't see that. In order for me to see that, you're going to need to demonstrate that there is required necessarily an underlying intelligence. That that two plus two only equals four because some transcendent intelligence defines two plus two to equal four. And you cannot demonstrate that. The fact that we don't both see it is another issue. Uh, that's that's an interesting position. I, I just don't see how you can not say that there's an underlying intelligence. I mean, it's really it's simple. Just, I used my own intelligence. Oh, we don't find that argument. I used it. my own intelligence to say that there wasn't an underlying one, because until something, the default position is disbelief until there's sufficient evidence to warrant belief. You make an exceptional claim that you know there's an invisible dragon in my backyard, or there's an underlying intelligence. Um, you know, you're just talking about natural laws. Two plus two equals four. That's just a natural mathematical expression of what, how we understand reality. We defined what two is. We defined the plus sign. We defined equals. And we're just expressing, using our own communication, uh, a definition of our reality. There's, there's nothing in there that implies that there has to be an underlying intelligence. But. And if you think that we needed a stone tablet card from this divine, awesome superhero in the sky to tell us not to kill people, you're an idiot. But if you really think that it was necessary for somebody to actually write down, I am God and I say don't kill each other in order for us to realize that killing people is bad, you are an idiot.